We're riding the entire Buenos Aires soup day. That includes this and this. I love that natural light. This is Linea C. I guess we'll get on it. Supposedly, according to Wikipedia, this line uses also some like Japanese cars from Nagoya, but um, only the standard ones have shown up. <laughs> you left that one for me. This is a very Spanish solution terminal. The, each platform has doors on both sides. Oh, and here we go. This is San Juan. It has some beautiful old murals. This line is a north-south line and otherwise very east-west system. So it's, it's super short, but it's very busy for what it is. This is Moreno. All these stations have the same design, but they're just like a different work of art at each one. It's always a slightly different fanciful mural showing like castles and stuff. Why is he sad? This has his dog for company. Oh, that is sad. It's a very empty city. It's a beautiful mural. Two people have come up to us and said, don't use the camera, hide the camera, because there's thieves around. And then one woman came up to us who was very young. Yeah. Those two people were kind of old. The young woman said, it's all right, just be careful. So I guess there's a lot of thieves around, and pickpockets and whatever. Yeah. So, so we don't know how that's going to affect the rest of this video. Yeah, I mean, I've got our wrist strap, so I don't know. I mean, we'll probably take our chances. There's three of us. So if this ends abruptly, you'll know the reason why. <laughs> well, it just wouldn't exist. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if this doesn't exist, you'll know the reason why. Yep. Well, anyway, line C was very nice. It's just a, a direct short line that connects the two biggest stations in the city and transfers to everything else in the middle. This arrangement doesn't make a ton of sense. Are we supposed to be here in this narrow one or why is it uneven? Uh, also, I think we just missed the train based on that, that beeping sound, but that's okay. Cool. Someone's watching that. But oh, this is modern. Look at, what is that artwork? Interesting that it's like just a time. What time is it? The next train is at 1232. You know what time it is? Uh, it is 12.30. Oh, great. What type of train is this? I've, God, I, I'm so bad with this system. No Spanish solution here. So let's just walk through. Yeah, they are nice seats. So unfortunately at this point, I lost a whole chunk of footage. I don't know where it's gone. So apologies to fans of Line E and these really cool old Argentinian trains. They won't feature much in this video. So we'll now jump ahead to our ride on the Pre Metro, which is this weird little tram system that connects to Line E. We're going like around the roundabout now. Here's what the tracks look like. It must not be in great shape because they've been going pretty slow the entire time. So that's the stop right now, just a bare bones platform, but it looks like they're building a nicer one. And this is right at a mall, so a lot of people got off. Now we're splitting off. There's one branch that goes that way, and then we're going this way. In other words, we have another branch to do that. Stop that long ago. It's good to see they're building new stations on this line. It's just single track now, so there's the, I guess, temporary platform. Oh, I know, yeah, it's just these fans. You can actually see them spinning. Centro Civico. Lugano. Oh, I guess I had a little piece of paper saying a Centro Civico, so there you go. Yeah, <laughs> end of the line. This kind of feels like a brutalist utopian vision of like having these big, ugly apartment buildings served by this tram that goes to line E. Brutalist utopia, isn't that a uh, oxymoron? <laughs> that was a very interesting trip. They were gonna build more of those, but decided like, let's just build buses instead. And admittedly buses probably would go a lot faster than that did. There are gonna be some brutalist foamers here who adore this. I'm trying to figure out what the first floor is meant to be, because the second floor is where all the businesses are. Just one of those baffling decisions that they made in this era that I, I don't understand why you would do that. We're at the other pre-metro station. I think the, the sad thing about this is that there's like these overgrown tracks, the line runs every like 16 minutes or something like that. Then there's like a bus on this BRT right next to us that comes every two seconds. Just like 
all coming to that stop. That's like way nicer and has benches and better shelter. 147, 247s, 347s, 447s, and a 150, and then a fifth 47. Ah, ah, ah. All right, we've been here, I don't even know how long, but we, we can see it in the distance. It does exist, it's real. It's so dinky, it's just the, the one little tram. There's so many buses, and then this one little tram that just kind of comes whenever it wants. I have to say, this has been a pretty unimpressive service, as cool as it is. Also, the buses are AC and this isn't. Right. So it's weird, I guess like the other branch serves like within the apartments, and this one's like outside of them. I'm in this, I, mean, I don't really know what else is here. Oh, we're already joining up with the other branch. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, I didn't notice that like I did. an airplane before though. Okay, so what's next? Well, I think taking the train back to Line H will be If I fun. go like this, will we, can we, can we immediately go to the next step? Okay. All right, let's okay. do it. So what are we doing? We're gonna go to the next step right now. All right, well, now we get the train. Why is it X'd out? Where it's out of service. Oh, so we just go then, there. I guess. Okay. Part of why I want to take this is because I'm fascinated by the web of suburban lines here that all feed into different stations. And this is going to another new station that we haven't been to yet. Also, this is diesel. This is a diesel one. It's just a DMU. Is it just like passing, or is it gonna stop? Oh. Hmm. That was such a tease. Well, everyone else seemed upset. As what well. The hell? Wow. Okay. We're gonna skip the art museum. I don't know if we're ever gonna get that. All right. Take two. This one's coming in a lot slower. All right. see in here, but it's a very slow acceleration because it's diesel. So there's the terminal I thought we were going to. Maybe it's closed or maybe they built a, oh yeah they might build a new one. It is cool there's a bike section on this train. Very substantial one for eight bikes. Alright well Last stop. Now we are walking to line H, another Subte line, finally. Sorry, it's actually Eche. And actually, it's not that exciting to be going to the Subte line because it's underground, but it means it'll be reliable, which is probably good. All right, Linea Eche. These screens are interesting. They tell you what the status of each line is. This is the newest line, so it has some pretty modern stations with cool artwork. This is a totally different screen type from any other part of the system. from a friend of mine for the city. Are we going to Malva, the Modern Art Museum? Is that where we're going? That's where we're heading now. Okay, super. That's one of the wrecks. It tells us the doors are opening on the right on the sign. It's an arrow. Can you see the arrow? There's the arrow. Here's the next stop, which we feel like that's a fun little jingle. Um, yeah, pretty utilitarian. Oh, you, know, you like this? You like the lights? Yeah, it's cool. See what? The lights on the stairs are beautiful. I think you missed it. Oh. Here are more of the stair lights. These stations have all been identical, but pretty nice. Yeah, they're nice. It looks like they extended the line, but forgot to update the map. You see that one extra green dot is actually the stop we're going to. Cool artwork. Okay. I don't want to dive. There was some cool artwork at the end of the platform at Las Eras. Light. This station is so new that it has modern fare gates. Wow. All right, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, in, in like a second. See you tomorrow? No, it'll be like in a second okay. in the video. It'll actually be at the end of this week. Well, we're going to see you with the ferry. No, but that'll be a different video. And you're not going to be here when we come back. <laughs> She'll be there. That's a hard no. Welcome back. We're at Ram Station Online. Day. This is where the hotel is. Day? Day. 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 Wait a second. Day. I bet said day. 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 I can't remember. I bet said 
day. I think it's day. All right. Oh, well, let's go. Got some cool murals in here. We're gonna take the day out to the end, which only a couple stops, and then we'll cover the rest at the end of this. Oh. Actually, this is on the wrong side. How did we, how did we mess that up? I don't know. How, how did we mess that up? Guess, yeah, right, okay. It's literally well signed. Use the temptation to go back and forth. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, I just asked yeah. you, I said, you're going to Tukumar, and you said yeah. <laughs> We're also lucky the train's every couple minutes, like it's only two minutes away. Yeah. I think it's every three minutes. Very crowded. We're going outbound in the morning. Cool mural here. But in general, these stations are a lot more modern looking. I think this part of the line might be newer. They have some busts along the walls of, I guess, important people. So this is actually a Metro bus BRT corridor. We, this is a bit of an indulgence at this point, um, the, the route we're going to our next line. Um, but from here we can basically take any bus because they all go up to the station we're going to. Did you mention the amazing bus ride we took last night? We had to take a bus that was like 11.30, oh, close to midnight. Because the soup day stops running at 11, which actually really sucks. But every bus runs overnight, so it makes up for it. Ah, oh, it was incredible. It was crowded. That old people on there. It was like really being, I mean, I say crowded, like you couldn't even move in the place. Yeah. I had a butt baggage and I was going like this all the time to let yeah. people on and off. And it was just, it was just the, the energy of it. I just felt like, man, I love this place. Yeah. Buenos Aires is amazing. It, it really, it was fantastic. Man, also look at this rainbow of buses all in their own bus wow. lane. This bus has nice, like, fancy high back seats as well. Each bus is colored by its roof. So that's why there's just so much bus variety here. It's like, and the buses are so much fun to be on. I could buy the buses here. I don't know if you've noticed this either. This is this is sort of like bus riders heaven. Yeah. Buenos Aires. We're so far from the city center and it's still super dense. They're actually building new buildings. On these metro bus lines, they also make really nice maps showing like what bus stops where. There's just so many routes that can't all stop in the same place. I feel like Buenos Aires, like it's so dense, but it also has so many nice parks. Here's another apartment going up. The other thing I've noticed is crazy about this bus system is that it feels like this is just buses from anywhere to anywhere and they all are insanely frequent. Like if I look up directions from one place to another place, it's almost like, like more likely not to recommend taking a soup day. It'll say take a bus because it's just going to be a direct bus that runs there. And the buses here are really fast. I think mostly because the drivers are just like really good and really fast at driving down these streets. Gracias. Look at all the layover space they need. Oh my god. This is an insane terminal, it's amazing. There's just so many people here. Like if these people were all in cars, it would just be bedlam. So we need to head out to the Urquiza line, which is the suburban line that's run by Metro Villas, which runs Soup Day. And it's like designed to like operate via the Soup Day, like a portal for this, which have never used it. But to get there, we're gonna take the Linea Belgrano Norte, which people online have said is cool. So oh, okay. I, I think it uses cool trains. Alright, can't wait. Thesis. We have to buy tickets in? No, we just use our same cards. Okay. Which is just a miracle that, that everything uses the cards. We have I to get all these that. disparate companies. It's there's no transfers it seems like, but all the fares are so cheap that it doesn't really matter. So each of these stations has like a um, Mother Mary and I, I was wondering why they were there. Each really one like does? Like, yeah, I saw it on all the suburban trains. Someone's actually there praying to the one, so oh, they actually yeah. get used. Wow, this is a fantastic former train. It's narrow gauge, it's got a weird squat diesel locomotive and massive coaches. There's someone, <laughs> the doors are just open, oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, it's not a different locomotive. Look, the doors are just open. Yeah. Oh wait, people are gonna do some cool like, you know, jumping out while the train's moving out there. Yeah. It looks like it's less busy up front. Just hope it's all. feels like a relic. I mean, this is it does. <laughs> really cool. You should see people are like sitting on the outside with the doors open. Yeah. It's incredible. And you can go in between the doors, between right. the trains, like this. Which I just love to do. Should we do one? 
sure. Oh, you gotta, yeah. And then this is just like... I love it. It feels so good. Yeah, it's actually nice. But I mean, it's still, this would never happen. I actually see why people hang out here. The, the cars get very hot outside of the doors. Thank you to whoever on Twitter told me to take this. I finally feel like we're on the outskirts of the city a little Yeah, bit. it's more suburban. Although there are some big buildings right there. It actually seems like it's like an understood thing that you wait till it stops. I feel like I'd be tempted to like jump out early, but it's probably yeah. really dangerous to do that. The line moves so slowly because it's using like what looked like an old like freight switcher or something. I don't even think it's a passenger locomotive, which might explain why all the lights are off, but oh, I don't know. Yeah. I love how on the busy trains, the, the outer bits are just used for extra capacity. Like people will just literally hang out outside. I mean, does this line have accidents or people, do people somehow have the common sense to not fall off? I don't know. Kind of a new one. Someone came by offering word search books that came with a pen. Yeah, I feel bad. I wanted to get it, but I didn't have the right chain. Also, we're sitting down now because someone took our spot and started smoking. So. Oh yeah, I guess there's no rules about smoking. I guess it's all right. So a conductor just came by and told the guy to stop smoking. Yeah, he just threw it out the door. Yeah. Yeah. Probably starting a fire now. There's some people running, they just, just, just get on while it's moving. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, that was well worth it. That was the great. slight deviation. I have to say, it's really impressive how all the suburban rail stations are actually gated here. So, like, you always pay your fare going in, the conductors don't have to check fare at all. But yeah, that's definitely, like, if you're here and you're a foamer by any stretch of the imagination, that is worth riding 100%. Even if you're not a foamer. We got dropped off in this nice, like, you know, I guess Main Street, like it's like, you know, a, a smaller town just outside of Buenos Aires. All right, here comes the 203. I'm hoping it stops here because, okay, people are like mobilizing. There's no sign for it. Here we go, this bus runs every couple minutes and it's taking us down to the uh, Urquiza line. Don't make me tap the sign. Also, there goes the next 203 beating us. Got this. All right, here's our station. We've hit this line at the exact 10 o'clock hour where it's every 20 minutes, like the one time a day when it's not every 15 or better. Oh. So because this line was designed to go into the Subte system, it's a different track gauge than the rest of Argentina's railroads, and it also uses third rail. To walk between the cars, it'll be less busy up at the front. This one's okay. Yeah. Some of these seats have open windows next to them, so they're just like really wet. So this is a Japanese train from I think the 70s. Oh. Wow. And the, you can, it's showing its age in kind of an appealing way. It's retro. There's like these thick shades. I don't really know what the point of them are, but you can like bring them up and down if you want. Maybe. Yeah. I love these straps hanging down. Big old fans. Luggage racks. According to Wikipedia, Google Maps said this was the most crowded train in the world in 2019. Wow. I don't know if I fully believe that, but that, that is a fact that Wikipedia has. No, that is a fact. I have to say, it's nice being near the front because it looks like at least these first two stops of shelters have been at the back of the platform, so no one's waiting up here. This line used to use Pacific Electric Railway trolleys from LA, so it was like a trolley line. It, it, the, the speed we're going, it almost still feels like one. stations are named after like military leaders it seems yeah. like with the sergeants and captains and lieutenants. Alright, we're at a station called Tropezone. I need to put it in street view because I didn't I failed to get on camera. We went by the Metro Diner. Yeah. I think those are the same cars as this but in the old livery. Also now that we're on this highway we're officially back in Buenos Aires. This is the 
second to last stop. Yeah, wouldn't it be amazing if the rain stops <laughs> right now? Yeah, but I have a raincoat, so. Uh, coming into the terminal, that's a cool, like, streamlined engine over there. Five kilometer an hour speed when we come into the station. Five kilometer. Oh, really? Yeah. This is a much more substantial terminal than I was expecting. The departure board's actually working here, and also the rain may not have totally stopped, but it slowed down, which I'll take. Someone yelled at us for taking photos at that specific spot, but yes. She said we need a paper, I don't know. But anyway, so we can't show off this cool terminal, which has a direct connection to the linea B. We just missed one of the Madrid trains which are, I, I want to get both, this, this line has some weird stuff. There's Japanese trains from the 50s, which are the oldest that are still on the system. And then they wanted to buy second hand, so they got these Madrid trains, but Madrid trains run on an overhead third rail. This line in general is weird because it's the only one that uses third rail power. So they actually went through and built this whole overhead third rail on the entire line and ended up just being more expensive than it was if they just bought new. All right, so we're getting a Madrid train, but that's actually okay. Maybe we can take this to the end and then hop back a train to get a Japanese one. Oh, wait. Oh, tiny. We gotta go. Gorgeous station. It's modern, but they have these like murals or stained yes. glass. De los Incas. This one's also incredibly cool. I think these trains are supposed to be two sets coupled together, but this is just one. It is still walk through, but usually there'd be like a second one attached to it. The map is static. The seats aren't especially comfortable. It's got those weird grill lights. It also has DIY doors. I'm kind of excited to try. Dang. There we go. Last stop. We'll wait until a Japanese train shows up, I guess. All right, we got a Japanese train. Didn't have to wait too long. It was the next one to come in. These are really cool. We rode one one stop earlier in our trip, so I'm excited to actually be on one for a substantial amount of time. So they're separate cars, but they just left the doors open, so you can basically just walk through. It's basically a walk-through train. These seats are really comfortable. They're like an old couch. Like a couch. Literally an old couch, yeah. probably. Yeah, it can't be from the 80s. Is that what you saying this is from? It's this is from the 50s. Oh, from the 50s? Yeah. So that's uh, 50, 70 years? Yeah. They must have re upholstered. I those. imagine so. But like, it's such a cool car. I should clarify, these were bought secondhand by Buenos Aires in the 80s. So these were used in Japan, and now they're, now they're here. I love how they even have the original light fixtures, even though they're not being used. Then the windows are open because there's no AC. There are fans. Also luggage racks on a subway train. You can see that this part of the line is newer because it's the only part with accessible stations besides one down there. I don't know what's happening in that mural. I'm not sure if I want to know. This station has like comic strips on the wall. I should have filmed some more. Yeah, this station also has comic strips. Last stop. Another cool mural. I would say that of any of these souped in lines, like the one to ride for fun is probably this one because it has the coolest rolling stock. The murals are really cool. They are. Like if I had time, I would have gone and read every single one of those comic strips. You have to take line E and then we're going to get on line A, um, which is the oldest one, so it has a lot of cool original stations. Okay, cool. Yeah, this station is really cool because it has the original, I mean, I don't know if they're original, but it has like old ads that would have been shown when the station was opened in this year that I can't remember. This thing's pretty legendary and this platform is totally empty because we're taking this one stop. It has this weird bonus stop past the station. It's like two feet away. You can actually see and hear the cars driving over the station. It's so shallow. That's a blow dryer from 1920. Wow. It's like a little museum. Oh, here we go. I don't want to leave the station. You can literally see the station. It's so close. Oh yeah, well it's a dead end, so I guess we'll just stay on. Shoots on time. 
All right, I'll fix it. All right, which of these seats looks the least skanky? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll, I mean, yeah, you can have a decent not, one. Yeah, but they're not next to each other. I'll take a dirty one if I you want. I think the dark green one's the better one. Okay. That one is okay, but there's a really bad one right next to it. I mean, I'm not too... I don't know. Too bad. The one next to it isn't, isn't terrible, so... These were built in 2013 by a Chinese company. Probably CRRC, but it'd be funny if that was wrong. What? Anyone have any idea what... What causes this, this stain on the seats? That's a good question. I was about to film saying we're back on the move, but actually we, we already got to the next station. Oh, and of course the classic thing about Line A is that if we had been here 10 years ago, they would have been using trains from 1913. They were the oldest subway train still in regular service in the world. And they just barely made it to a century, but then they, they scrapped wow. them 10 years ago. This is the weird bit where there are stops on only one side. It's just a pair of two. So the stop is there, but then on this side, it's just a tunnel. Plaza Miserere has this huge open middle bit, and I'm not really sure why. I know there's like a million buses that connect here and uh, Onse Station, which is a terminal for a railroad. Okay, the on-platform bookstore is incredibly cool. I will say the stations along here tend to be pretty samey. Like, it's a good samey, but there's not much variety. I think we just passed on the old wooden train. All right, here's the last stop. To get back, we could just take this all the way, or we could take the parallel suburban rail line that's above ground part of the way and get back on the train. I have to say, when it's above ground, as a tourist, you see a ton of stuff. Yeah. Underground is awesome to beat traffic, and it's great, but it's just not as exciting as actually seeing the city. All right, let's get a train. All right, guys, yeah, is, is a good time. We actually probably should have stayed on that training on one stop back, but that's okay, we'll walk. Ooh, Route 1. Oh. I just love seeing all the different neighborhoods. Like, I feel like we have just so. haven't seen a similar neighborhood today. They've all been different. Actually, it's a good thing we're missing this train because it's dotted. Look. Oh, okay. I mean, the next one's in 10 minutes. So all right. We'll, we'll live. These are cool murals. I like how it's like squares. So yeah. it's like a, uh, it's almost like pixels on a computer. We were going to use the underpass in this beautiful old station building, but um, it was like the worst stench that we've ever stenched, so. Unbearable. It was like brought tears to your eyes. <laughs> All these Argentinian rail lines are so different. This one looks to be broad gauge with third rail power. Oh no, this one's dotted too. Oh, it's so bad. Is this the entire train? Yeah, the door doesn't have dots. God, I mean, what was the point of taking an outdoor train if they're going to be dots? At least we can see out through these doors. Yeah, I actually like the practice of having leany leans at the doors. It's a good way to like make it a little more comfortable if you have to stand here. It's kind of cool this line is just carved into the city. Like it's a very urban view this time around. There go some tracks down into a tunnel. I wonder if this was also meant to go into the soup day at one point. Once again, five miles an hour, kilometers an hour into the terminal. It doesn't look like a particularly inspiring building, but I guess we'll see. Here's the station. Pretty uninspiring, but down here is the soup day, and the escalator's broken. Oh. This hallway has some really beautiful like flower engravings. They're actually like embossed out of the wall, it looks like, or I don't know what the correct verbiage would be. Oh, that's us. Alright, we're taking this to Scalabrini Ortiz to get to the Ava Peron Museum to meet my mom and your wife. Yeah, I've met her before. <laughs> After we see the museum, we have to film the three stops back to the hotel so we can truly say we've actually finished this whole thing. Right. Check out that mural, some original green tile. I think this line has really beautiful stations. I mean, they're, they're not in great shape, but like, they're clearly original. Yeah, could I just like use it. some like, refurbishment. Well, this is us. like they might actually be restoring the station. There are some people who might want to know why I carry around a uh, headlamp. And it's for opportunities like this. Without the headlamp, it looks like this. <laughs> it's oh, like identical. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mom's lost on the way to the museum, so we're gonna figure that out, and we'll see you when we do the last couple stops to finish the system off. Later. 
back. We just went on at Scalabrini Ortiz. The whole family's back together. Three more stops. Two stations to go. One station to go. This one's very pretty. Amazing system, amazing city. Thanks to my parents for joining me for it. Uh, if you want, it's cool. okay to go like this, by the way. Oh, actually, I read in a comment that it's actually not, but they understand the U.S. Oh, really? Like doesn't, so it's, it's okay if you're from U.S. Yeah. Because a lot of people and like wait staffs and did that right. to me. So when they tell they me to where, shove it, no, they, they know we're Americans. They know. Oh. Argentinian music wrecks. No Yours Por Mi Argentina by Seru Hiran, Wadu Wadu by Birus, and Solenos Bares by Man Ray. I'm really, I really like Argentinian music for some reason, so uh, if you have any other wrecks, feel free to send them in the comments.